tonight is we hope and we think our last night in La Rochelle. Be quiet, be quiet for two seconds. <laughs> Cheers, my love. I'm ready to leave. I'm looking forward to it. Like literally five seconds. <coughs> All I'm asking. I've got no do clothes you, on. Yeah, and also do you, do you want me to get you a towel? Well, something's gonna have to give. <laughs> I do wish that I could help. Chili? <gasps> I suppose technically I could. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Cheers, everyone. <coughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> we have been working on Ruby Rose pretty much non stop, and she is looking amazing. I thought I would just take this opportunity to do a quick little walkthrough because she is looking so, so good right now. Look, all I want is literally five seconds of a shot of us having a beer so I can finish off my episode so please stop making noise. Cheers everyone. So it's a very windy day again and uh, we are spending today um, cleaning the boat from top to bottom literally scrubbing her Nick has taken the outside I've been doing inside uh, it's been pretty relentless lots of um, you know down on hands and knees kind of scrubbing everything and uh, yeah it's looking she's looking really great she's looking nice and sparkly and shiny and ready for a new season why are you laughing? <laughs> Nick is um, Nick is doing what? He is about to dive underneath the boat. That is a job that has needed to be done for um, well since we got back, obviously. But um, yeah, definitely needs to be done before we leave. The prop we turned the engine on last week. No, I don't know, a few days ago. And you can hear that the prop is covered in whatever barnacles or whatever. And you can see that the rudders have like <laughs> this like long weed coming off of them. So uh, yeah, Nick needs to get under there and give the prop a scrape and the rudders a little scrape as well. And um, just do what hull cleaning he can. Hello little ladybird. There are ladybirds everywhere. Me up, it's going to be tight. Do not pinch my back. This is the new, uh, new wetsuit. Yeah. Come on, hurry up, I'm sweating like a bastard. <laughs> okay, right. Well, this, yeah, exactly. Jesus. Make sure you got the right size. Right, okay, you're gonna have to like push it. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully, once this gets wet, it will give a little bit. Do it flat, do it tight. Yeah. Yeah. Chili? <gasps> Are you okay? Goes straight to the central nervous system part that they need you make you piss. Oh, oh. I won't judge you. Oh. oh, God almighty. Is it cold? Yes. At least you got your wetsuit. I mean, as much as I don't envy him his job, I do wish that I could help. Um, I suppose technically I could. <laughs> uh, but my free diving is really crap like my breath holding situation is really quite pathetic so um yeah i'm not very good when it comes to this kind of thing you okay nick has really good lung capacity he can hold his breath for ages and i'm the one who does all the work workouts i'm like always jumping up and down doing like jumping lunges and burpees and god knows what and he's the one who can hold his breath for like a minute so i don't know how that works out How'd you go? Yeah, the zip opened up my wetsuit. I know, I saw. Can you do it back up? Is it? That's not broken, is it? No, it's not broken. It's just, you just busted out of it. How's the hull looking? You know what? That anti fan has worked really bloody well. Oh, good. Like, it's the hull is filthy, but it's, it's just, it literally comes off. Yeah. Like in, with, with very little, 
um, you don't need to do much to get it off. Yeah. Literally, you put, you, you scrape it and it's, it's, uh, what about the prop? How did the prop look? Uh, yeah, the prop's okay actually. It had, um, it, w it wasn't covered in oysters, which is always my, my concern because oysters are bastards to get off. Mm. Um, so it was, um, just algae. So yeah, it was okay. Okay. So I'm pretty pleased. So the prop's clean. Both rudders are clean. Um, I'm gonna have to go when we're at anchor and do it again. Yeah. No, there's no way. It's, it's like literally, this is gonna get us out of the marina. Yeah. But obviously, you know, if you've got a really foul prop, then you've got a really foul prop. Um, I've got no do clothes you, on. Yeah, and also, do you, do you want me to get you a towel? Well, something's gonna have to give. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering kind of what, what you're planning. We had been back on Ruby Rose in La Rochelle for several weeks by this point and we were starting to settle back into life on board. After being in self-isolation for three months in London, the sudden freedom of being back home on our boat and in a city and country that hadn't been hit as hard as the UK took a bit of getting used to. The streets were still quieter than usual but far from empty and while everyone was being respectful of the new rules on social distancing, hand hygiene and mask wearing, that didn't mean that they weren't going about something resembling their normal lives. People were still going out to bars and restaurants, shopping at the market, meeting up with friends. It was reassuring, it was refreshing, and honestly, life was starting to feel a little bit closer to normal. Is we hope and we think our last night in La Rochelle. Actually, I spilled some precious drops of Aperol. Yeah, careful. This is even alcoholic. Yeah, fifteen percent. It feels alcoholic when I'm drinking it. Wait. Oh, I see. Don't be oiling me. Why would I give you? <laughs> no, I was like, oh, God, you know the what do you call that? <laughs> can I have um can I have the other crackers? I don't really like these. Yes, there are. I bought some. There's other crackers. He's trying to get me to eat the yucky ones that he bought. They're just in the cupboard. They're right in front of you. I saw them before. Yes. Ah, oh, close enough. Oh, thank you. Oh, so much good stuff coming out. Salami as well. So that is two weeks here in La Rochelle. It's two weeks tomorrow since we first arrived by train. That was uh, quite the day, a real adventure. And um, yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago now. A little bit of classical music to get the party started up here. So two weeks in La Rochelle, and obviously that's on top of, you know, what felt like months last year. Um, so I think that it's fair to say that we, while we love La Rochelle, I believe that I speak for both of us when I say that we're kind of ready to explore further beyond the city. <laughs> Cheers, my love. <laughs> I'm ready to leave. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to just doing a little test sale tomorrow. Get, we've got to get to, um, what we get to, about 10 miles? Yeah, 10 miles. Yeah, so a couple of hours. Mm. Try and get up about nine. Mm. And that's tomorrow. Yeah. We'll be sitting with a different view for our drinks tomorrow night.
I just need to get one shot of me drinking this beer and I'm going to get a shot of you drinking a beer <coughs> and then that's it. So just be quiet, be quiet for two seconds. Come on, get cut off. <coughs> Soy milk pasta's in my mouth. <coughs> like literally five seconds. <coughs> All I'm asking. I think you'll find that coughing is not is it an involuntary action. Cheers, everyone. <coughs> For <f> sake. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> you are doing it on purpose. I, I know that you are. Look, all I want is literally five seconds of a shot of us having a beer so I can finish off my episode. So please stop making noise. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> you know what? No, 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 okay, I'll stop. That was a good day's work. <coughs> Don't do <coughs> same thing, just drink. So for the last two weeks, we have been working on Ruby Rose pretty much non-stop and she is looking amazing. I thought I would just take this opportunity to do a quick little walkthrough because she is looking so, so good right now. So I'm just going to change the lens out and then we will get on with a very quick walkthrough of our beautiful boat. All right. Let's do a little walkthrough. So I know a lot of you have already seen Ruby Rose in her beauty, but let's just run through a few things. As this is our last season, this boat has served us so well over the last eight years. She is strong, she is fast, and she has kept us so safe. We run her normally as a Solent rig, so there's normally a Code Zero flying off here. Nice wide side deck so that we can trim the main, look at the sails, and of course that deep cockpit over two Atlantic crossings. This boat has kept us so safe. We also, as you know, use this for our sundowners. And of course, well, when we're on watch, we get to relax here. And the interior of Ruby Rose was what sold it to us initially. We wanted a home, not something that was just built for charter. So we have two large sofas. We have that lifting keel, which enables us to get into the shallowest of anchorages and a chart table fully functioning, which allows us to both work and navigate. A fully functioning galley with loads of storage, that all important coffee machine and the master suite. We needed a double bed that we could both climb in and out of without waking the other person up. That's super important on passage. Finally, the fore cabin. Again, it's got my guitar, a couple of skateboards in, but normally this is reserved for guests. Anyway, that's Ruby Rose. I think you'll agree that she looks amazing. So tomorrow morning, we are going to start our 2020 sailing season here in France. And I, for one, am very excited. I cannot wait to get started. The weather has been amazing. The forecast is not looking particularly good for the next week, but that's okay. We don't mind. We'll take anything at this point, I think. And uh, yeah, we're just very happy to be able to get our sailing season because that definitely was not something that we were thinking we would get um, a few months ago. So. Thank you for watching this episode. We will see you next week uh, with a brand new episode. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then please do so and click the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, you know the drill. Um, and we'll see you again very soon with another episode. Bye-bye.